Welcome back to another lesson on N3 Electro Technology. In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at a calculation for the DC shunt motor. Now, before we attempt this example, let's have a look at the circuit diagram for a shunt motor. The field winding is connected in parallel with the armature. The armature is drawing current from the supply and therefore drawing armature current. The largest portion of the current goes through the armature and a small portion of current goes through the shunt winding. Now in example 4.6 on page 50, we are dealing with a DC shunt motor. It is a six pole machine, therefore it has three pole pairs. It is wave wound, therefore C is equal to two. It has 64 slots on the armature assembly. It has an armature resistance of 0, 0,15 ohms a power input of 15,000 watts, a terminal voltage of 300 volts, and the armature is rotating at 1,200 revs per minute. The flux per pole is 0, 0,016 Weber. Now the first part of this question, we need to calculate armature current. Now to calculate armature current for a motor, it's going to be always minus. Therefore, IA is equal to IL minus I shunt. Now to calculate the supply current, we will say power divided by voltage. And to calculate the shunt current, it's going to be V over R shunt. Substitute all those values in. Our power is 15,000 watts and the terminal voltage 300. For the shunt current, it is 300 volts over 150 ohms. Therefore, the supply current is 50 amps and we have two amps flowing through the shunt winding. Therefore, the armature current is drawing 48 amps. Now, the second part of the question, we need to calculate the back EMF. Now, the reason why they call it back EMF is because the EMF opposes the direction of current flow. Now, the formula is available to us on our formula sheet. For a shunt motor, there are only two volt drops, one across the terminal and the shunt winding, which are connected in parallel and then the volt drop across the armature. The terminal voltage is 300 volts and the volt drop across the armature is RA times RA. RA is 48 amps and the armature resistance 0.15. Therefore, we end up with a generated EMF of 292,8 volts. Part C of this example, we need to calculate the number of conductors per slot. Now, before we attempt that, let's first try and work out the unknown factor, which is the total number of armature conductors. So we're going to be using the EMF equation to help us. Now, to manipulate the equation to get Z on its own, we will say the generated EMF multiplied by the number of parallel paths, multiplied by 60, all divided by 2, times the pole pairs, the speed and the flux per pole. The generated EMF is 292,8 volts. The number of parallel paths is 2, multiplied by 60, over our constant of 2. The pole pairs is 3. The speed is 1,200 revs per minute. And the flux per pole is 0, 0,016 Weber. Therefore, the total number of armature conductors is 305. However, we need to calculate how many conductors there are per slot. So what we do is we say the total number of armature conductors divided by the number of slots and we end up with 4,776. If we round this up, it means we have five conductors per slot. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and to like these videos.